hello, hello. It's hashtag Makeup Monday. And I am here to share with you some of the mistakes that <clears throat> maybe, <clears throat> just maybe, you are making. So, okay. <clears throat> All of a sudden, hi, Alicia. How are you and what are you drinking, Alicia? Oh man, the storm. What about this weather? These monsoons are awesome. But kind of a little bit scary sometimes, right? Okay, and I hope I'm going to be able to see your guys' comments. Um, Alicia, make a comment so I can see. Oh, yes. Ooh, green tea. Are you drinking it hot or cold? Hot or cold. I love green tea. It's so good for you, too. Okay. Okay. My dog's right outside. Oh, hot. Well, because it's storming, right? Perfect. Perfect. Did you see my ring I got at seminar? Oh my gosh, for the National Court of Sales. This does not happen without customers like you and all the other ladies who are my wonderful um, Mary Kay customers. Again, it's a we win, not a me win for sure. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I've actually got some fun information tonight and I'm gonna try to watch um, the comments also, and I could see that you said hot tea, Alisa. So that was good. Okay, so mistake number one that sometimes we as women make regarding our skincare at night is not taking off makeup. That's a big no no. I know it is, you know, you're tired and um, you're just. Tired. You've got a bunch of things to do, but the best thing you can do, one thing I like about my lives when I do skincare, oh, it said that's hitting me. Um, but when I do skincare, then it, it's helpful because when I'm done, my you know, my face is clean. I love that. And I don't really want to take all my makeup off. I think I'll do so, you know, mistake number one that we were just talking about is not taking off your makeup before you go to bed. And I'm gonna read to you some information on what happens. It's really pretty gross. <laughs> it really is. And don't you guys, you guys comment, don't you feel better when you wash your face before you go to bed at night? I mean, you feel better. Don't you feel like, you know, not only do you feel better, but, uh, you sleep better too. Hi, Pilar, glad you're on as well. Okay. Okay, so like I said, we know you're tired and it's annoying to have to do a million things before you hit the sack, but there are a few small things you could be doing that are keeping you from being a literal sleeping beauty. Here are several mistakes to phase out of your routine, you guys. Hi, Laura. <clears throat> to phase out of your routine. Number one, not taking off your makeup. You know you should. Don't pretend like you don't. <clears throat> Dr. King, dermatologist at Skinny Med Spa, uh, to lay out the consequences of skipping washing your face at night. This will clog, so not washing your face at night, guys, <clears throat> will clog pores and leave free radicals on the skin, which can cause acne, create a duller complexion, and contribute to aging. Contribute to aging. We wanna fight it every step of the way, right? Okay. Um, uh, let's see. Okay, so, thanks. If you really can't handle doing a full wash, makeup remover wipes or like micellar water um, will still be very helpful. At least you won't have all that makeup on. You know, you'll it's like a, a pre-cleanse, right? 
Okay, let's go on. Okay, number two, using your same day moisturizer is a mistake that we make. Okay, so what they are referring to is there is daytime day creams, moisturizers, and there's moisturizers for nighttime, which is called night creams. And there are specific products in those night creams that's not in our day cream, much like SPF is in the day cream, but not in the night cream because we're not out in the sun at night, right? It's the sun has gone down. So using your same moisturizer <clears throat> during the day, at night that you do during the day is a no-no. Use a specific night cream. Most of these, can, most of the day creams contain sunscreen, which is wonderful, but not necessary at night when you're not in sunlight and your skin is repairing itself. The less that restoration system has to work around, the better, okay? So, mistake number two not flossing every night. You already know not doing it can cause bad breath, gum disease, but did you know it can also make you appear older too. I read an article that a dentist can look in your mouth and kind of give an it, it indicate, it indicates an overall health. And I thought, wow, that's kind of like, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Let me see if I can see, I see Pilar. Who's guilty of not washing their face at night? <laughs> oh my gosh. And I'm drinking water, Pilar. Hi, Miss Susan. So glad that you are on. So glad you were on. I'm drinking water as well. Mm. So I've been um, setting out my water in the morning and then, uh, you know, trying to drink it throughout the day. And I still got a little bit to go. But I've done good. I've done good. Okay, so don't forget to floss also. Now, mistake number four. Failing to tie your hair up if you have acne prone skin. Now, you see my hair is pulled up. I typically do this for a number of reasons. One, I like it off of my face. And Susan's drinking water tonight. But two, I do it so that I have more body in my hair the next day. It helps to give body to my hair because my hair is very straight, very fine and straight. I have a lot of it, but it is very fine and very straight. So don't forget if skipped a night or so. I've skipped a night or so. <laughs> me too, Susan, me too. Uh, but I woke up in the middle of the night and like, oh my God, I forgot to wash my face. And I'll get up and I'll wash my face. I will. Because I sleep so much better. I really, really do. And don't you comment below. Do you sleep better if you wash your face before you go to bed at night? Okay. So pulling your hair up before you go to bed, if you're, especially if you're acne prone, this will keep the oil from your hair off of your face and so it can't clog your pores. Just make sure to tie it up loosely to prevent damage to your strands. A scrunchie can really be your friend right here. <laughs> Hi, Laura. She's drinking water as well. Okay. Lesson number five. Lesson number five of things that we might not be doing at night. Uh, okay. Alicia, what did you say? I can't see it. Let's see. I just can't sleep without with a grimy face. You go, girl. That's my customer right there. I love it, I love it, I, lo I love to hear faithfulness for sure. Okay, mistake number five. Mistake number five, leaving out a retinoid, like retinol, okay? Um, Dr. Hadley, this is the single most effective anti-aging topical product other than sunblock, and as long as you are not pregnant, breastfeeding, you can apply one before you go to bed. I mean, and there's other uh, benefits as well. So I'm going, I was gonna wash my face afterwards, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it right here. I'm getting excited about washing my face. Can you believe it? And because I don't have my glasses on, I can't see the comments, but I'll see them in just a second. So I'm gonna, I already did my eye makeup remover. I'm gonna just reiterate how to use the skincare. Now I'm using the repair system, you see a little is a lot and the biggest thing that I do is I work it into my hands like so 
neutral. Okay. And it's right on my face. And you know what I didn't do? I didn't bring my Skin Vigorate brush, but that's okay because I'm actually going to do retinol tonight. So that's probably why I didn't do it so I wouldn't accidentally use it. Okay, I've got my steamy washcloth right here. I hope you guys have yours. And maybe you're following along with me and doing your evening routine. But washing your face is so very important. And getting your throat and decollete area. Mm -hmm. Okay. That feels so good, doesn't it, you guys? So I've cleansed my face. Whew. Man, that just, it just feels good. Comment in the chat if you like the way it feels. A messy bun is perfect for sleeping. Yes, it is. And Susan loves the retinol. Okay, so I've taken my cleanser off. I'm going to go ahead and put my Clinical Solution Retinol 0.5. And I'm going to bless myself and blend. Okay. Ooh, I hear that thunder. Can you guys hear the thunder? Ooh. monsoons wow and then i go up on my throat and then when i have my pjs on and i do it i usually go in through my neck and my decollete area as well and i let that dry for a minute and then i'm going to put my facial milk on i busted my lid <clears throat> so i have to unscrew it <clears throat> to use it okay okay so Don't leave out retinoids, a retinol. And you just saw me use my clinical solution retinol. Now I'm gonna use the facial milk, which is to calm the skin, kind of soothe. I have to pour it because I've busted my, my lid, but I just bless myself and blend. You know what I forgot is my nourishing oil. You guys, don't forget your nourishing oil. It's the very last thing that you do. When I get off camera, I'll do it, but I didn't pull it out before I got on camera, so I apologize. But just know, and you know what? After you do your throat and decollete area, I go and do it on the back of my hands as far as I can go. I have long sleeves on tonight, so that's not going to work too, too much. Okay, so burns, braids, I hear you, buns, braids. <laughs> I've always had, what did she say, like long hair. I think my phone is in front of it, so I can't see what else Polar said, but I know that you can see it. Okay, so number five, do not forget your retinol product, some kind of retinoid, okay? Um, this is, uh, again, the single most effective anti-aging topical product besides sunscreen that there is, period. Mistake number six, not massaging your face. Let me read this. Doesn't a little relaxing rub sound delightful? It is, and it doesn't take long. San Francisco facialist Christina Holly's advice, start with three minutes a day and make sure to get all the way around your eyes. There can be a lot of congestion there. Oh my gosh. So, like so, just kind of. You can feel it around your eyes, especially when you, um, speaking of which, I need my eye cream. Okay, speaking of which. Okay, so with my eye cream, I am almost out of my eye cream. I'm having to squeeze pretty hard. Okay, I squeeze out a little and I apply it. I kind of got a lot here, but I'll turn it around the metal tip. This is uh, the same metals. There's three similar, there's three metals that are used and it makes it cool to the touch. And if you keep this in your refrigerator, it's even more beneficial, but I also do it on any place <clears throat> that I have expression lines, but particularly, and this is a form of massage that she was talking about in the previous mistake not to make. Don't forget to massage 
your skin before you go to bed at night. How does that feel, you guys, those of you who are following along with me and doing it? Hi, Rebecca. So glad that you're here as well. Okay, so I left off um, with the eye cream, and I love it. And I look <clears throat> oily, but that's okay. It's gonna uh, My skin is going to absorb it for sure. I've already put my clinical solutions on. The only thing I need to put on is my night cream, which is encapsulated retinol and the nourishing oil and I did not bring the nourishing oil in with me but remember you place your finger on those two indentions depress it press it down once and whatever is there is what you use okay and then you bless yourself uh, with all due respect and then I blend don't forget your youth triangle is right here it definitely is. Okay. Woo. How's it feel, girls? Yummy. Okay. And, like, if you do the nourishing oil, I wish I would have brought it in because I have my massage head with it. And I do just, a, like, three or four drops, and I place it on my face, you know. And then what I do is I use the massage head and massage it all in so good for your skin. You may feel like I look a little um, emollient right now, but trust me, within an hour, it will be absorbed. Is that what you guys find to be true as well? Let me go on and um, I will continue on. Mistake number seven that sometimes we make bless this mess of uh, the mess. Absolutely. <laughs> Mistake number seven over exfoliating let me read to you sure getting rid of dull dry dead skin cells will help you look glowy but you really only need to use a face scrub or glycolic peel once or twice a week we like to recommend twice wednesday and a weekend especially if you're past your 20s the reason in your 30s your skin is already beginning to lose elasticity so Overdoing it with gritty scrubs and cleansing brushes can cause capillaries to rupture and worsen the appearance of fine lines. Wow, this is from a Santa Monica dermatologist, but um, of course, there's other things. So that's the top seven tips, guys, of what not to do. Hi, Patricia, so glad that you're on tonight. We've been talking about the seven mistakes that people make at night. And I am going to repeat them. Let me turn this down. Okay, so the first one we talked about was not taking off your makeup. And then I took off my makeup with my eye makeup remover and whatnot. But, because um, this will clog your pores and leave free radicals on the skin, which can cause acne, create a duller complexion, and contribute to aging. We don't want that. No, no, no. Okay, mistake number two that sometimes we make with our skincare at night is don't use the same moisturizer at night that you do during the day. There's a specific night cream for your skin type. And night cream, day cream and night cream are exactly that, day and night. And have different properties, different benefits and are used for different reasons. You don't use your daily moisturizer at night, and you don't necessarily use your night cream during the day. Although that is more transferable, you can use your eye cream during the, I'm sorry, night cream during the day more so than vice versa. Does that make sense, guys? Okay, mistake number three was not flossing every night. Flossing is very important. Mistake number four, Failing to tie your hair up if you're acne prone. Even if you're not acne prone, it does pull the hair away from the face, um, which is helpful, relaxing, so forth and so on. Mistake number five, leaving out retinoid in your skincare system. You saw me use the clinical solution um, retinol 0.5, yay, yay. Okay, mistake number six was not massaging your face. So you saw me go like this around my eyes and what have you so that I'm sure to do it, right? 
I don't want to tell you what not to do and then me not do it. Definitely. And mistake number seven is over exfoliating. One to two times a week is ample and not necessary more than that. But okay, guys, I am going to leave you with this. I walked away without my August promotions. You know what? Let me go and grab it because we're doing good on time. Let me grab it real quick. I'll be right back. Talk amongst yourselves. Okay, girls, I printed out July instead of August, so let me share with you. Oh, yeah. Okay, let me share with you the August special, because this will be helpful to many of you. Oh, hold on. August, okay. So here it is. Uh, let me read it to you. So when you purchase $50 or more, girls, you get 50% off your TimeWise 3D foundation or a blending brush. And I'll let, if you want a liquid, the one that's angled uh, foundation brush instead, you can use that one. Liquid eyeshadows, you guys, the liquid eyeshadows. Yeah, I'm reading your comment, uh, Pilar. Anyway, the liquid eyeshadows are the bomb diggity. If you're not familiar, ask me about them, and I would be happy to do a quick, like, two-minute video in the morning on that. Okay, body care, the two-in-one -one body wash, which is something that you can wash your body and shave with. You're going to love it. If you haven't tried it, ask me about that, definitely. Acne treatment gel, the deep wrinkle filler under eye corrector is on special, you guys. When you buy $50 or more, you get um, one of these items at half price. A color travel bag, any compact or brow liner. Let me show you. Can you see that color travel bag? Can you see that? Okay, it's kind of blurry, I think. Anyway. Oh my gosh. Okay, there's your August specials. Let me leave you with this. And we actually got done early tonight. I want to share just very, very quickly. You know, today it takes about $400 a month more to live than it did this time last year. With gas prices, food prices, everything going up. You guys, I, let me just share with you. Because it may or may not be for you, but you might know someone that it might be good for and I would value uh, and cherish that referral. But when you, with it taking so much to live anymore, having a side hustle, something that you can make some extra money or at least a place where you can save money. You know, being able to buy at wholesale will save you money. You can do this business three ways. One, to be a brand ambassador. And that means you love the products and you want to use the products from head to toe. Skin care, body care, fragrances, color cosmetics, gift give throughout the year, birthdays, Mother's Day, graduation, baby shower, bridal shower, Christmas. You guys, it's like $135, 135, 135 days away from Christmas. Can you believe it? Oh my gosh. Yes, the specials will be posted right here. In fact, Pilar, if you'll pull that up and post it, that would be great. And you saw it here on my phone, Miss Laura. And yes, and this is something that you can copy and paste into your group. But 
knowing that it takes that much more today to live than it did this time last year, having a side hustle. Remember, you could be a brand ambassador. You can do this as a side hustle or you can do this as a boss babe, taking advantage of the um, freedom and flexibility, the financial, endless financial opportunities is, oh my gosh, just very, very helpful, guys. And with Christmas around the corner, being able to buy it wholesale, wholesale, that's not a bad gig. Well, listen, every week we have several virtual events. Monday nights, hence where we're at, Monday nights, 8 to 8.35, is our hashtag Makeup Monday. And then Tuesday nights, that's tomorrow at 6 p.m. Tomorrow's event is we're going to give away cash, you guys, $1,000 cash to a customer and then to a consultant as well. It's a $500 giveaway. And, oh my gosh, I'm so excited about that. Are you in the drawing? If you are not, but you join us tomorrow night at 6 inside Rock Your Fabulous with Mary Kay, then you get extra entries into the next cash drawing. Wednesday nights, it's just for our Mary Kay consultants. Um... It's our training, it's our team huddle, but Thursday nights at 5 o'clock and 8 o'clock. 5 o'clock and 8 o'clock. We do two spa suites. There are five different spas on one Zoom. You come in and let the receptionist know which spa you would like to experience, and then it's awesome. It's an actual spa session. And then we come back to the main room and do a rockin' after party for about 15 minutes afterwards. We do that Thursday nights, 5 and 8 o'clock, and then Saturday mornings at 10 a.m. And twice a month, Vicki and I go live and do a special event. Our next one is on the 27th, and it's all about lipsticks and the Mary Kate opportunity. So there you go. Those are our virtual events. I hold my appointments on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at one o'clock, giving me time in the morning for any live, things like that going on, and then I'm right here in my home, ready to do a product preview this coming Saturday. If you live near me, come to my house this Saturday at one o'clock. I'm going to preview the fall products. Yes, I am. It's loads of fun. I invite you to invite two friends to this group. Who do you know that doesn't already have a consultant? Invite her to join this group and consider joining one of our events. You guys, thank you so much for being on. It is time for me to have a relaxing evening. Good night, guys. Thanks for joining me, and I'll be following up with you. Bye now.